Storytime with Tom Foolery presents My Wife Wants to Try Another Cock Written by Noel Long I had finished tending to my livestock. When I returned home, the news that greeted me came as quite a shock. My wife said she wanted to try another cock. What's wrong with my cock? I inquired. Her answer was not the one I had desired. It's small, has lost its vigour, and some days it looks almost dead. Her cutting words echoed in my head. I remembered how delighted she was when I first showed it to her behind the hay shed. But now I had the feeling that she'd rather anybody else's cock instead. Some honesty was needed. Reluctantly I conceded. It has gone on many magical adventures with you. But I understand that now you want something new. My only fear is that you won't find many better cocks around here. She replied, My search has already begun. I hear that Farmer Leroy has a big black one, and most of the women I meet tell me it goes down a treat. My wife visited Farmer Leroy, and, oh boy, she came back looking tired and a little worn out, saying that she was still in doubt. I could scarcely believe the words coming out of her mouth. Leroy's cock was big and nice, but I won't be viewing it twice, because it left me sore. I don't want it any more. I proceeded with my questioning. How about calling to Farmer Ming, the Chinese farmer, originally from Beijing? She answered, he's a nice man, but I'm not sure it's worth the call. I've heard that his cock is rather small. We agreed to sleep on it that night, and in the morning, we'd think of a cock that would be just right. Over breakfast we discussed a near neighbour called Gus. The postmistress had said his cock was divine. My wife uttered, what if I made it mine? In his kitchen, Gus was beating his meat, but stopped to greet my troublesome other half. When she saw his cock, she started to laugh. Gus was offended and chased her out of his yard. Finding the right cock for my wife was proving to be quite hard. In some ways I wished she'd just stick with mine. But if she wanted another cock, that would be just fine. She resorted to putting an ad online. My wife was inundated with replies from many seemingly eligible guys. But one man stood out from the crowd, Farmer Jed, who was well endowed. Jed's cock was quick to rise. Early each day, it was no surprise that many farmers' wives came this wealthy man's way. At first, my wife didn't like Jed because he arrogantly bragged about how great his cock was. When she saw it, though, she had to agree. It was a good size and stood up rather nicely. Back at home, my cock looked a little sad, as if remembering the good times it had had. I decided to seek advice from my dad. Dad said, son, don't be misled. Your wife could enjoy both your cock and Jed's. I had a similar situation with your mother when she didn't like my rod as much as that of my brother. 
My wife had spent nearly the whole night with Jed. She looked a little troubled when she came late to my bed. With obvious fear in my eyes, I told her about my dad's suggested compromise. And she beamed. It was the perfect solution. For her too, it seemed. Our resolution has proven to be great fun. For most women, it turns out, that two cocks are better than one. For those of you who find my situation obscene, let me tell you it's a joy to work in a tag team. The End My Wife Wants to Try Another Cock Written by Noel Long Narrated by Tom Foolery A very special thank you to Noel Long for sending us digital copies of his brand new stories. There is a link in the description with more information about his stories and where you can purchase them. That's right, there's another one on the way. Spoiler alert. Next Tuesday. Let us know in the comments section if two is indeed better than one. Or if you might like more than two. You might be good at juggling, who knows? That's a very busy farm. Finger the links on screen. More story time coming soon. See you next Tuesday.